Hey, Cindy, I had so much fun Easter Monday. We had an Easter egg hunt in my backyard. And guess who won the hunt? Me! Hey, RJ, that is so good. I'm sorry I missed it. But guess what? I am so excited about what is going to happen today. Happening today? What's happening I don't know about? Boy, you didn't hear? Miss Williams taking us on explore. She's taking us exploring. And we are going to be looking at habitats. Habitats? What that is? Boy, RJ, I don't know. But whatever it is, I can't wait. I'm sure Mrs. Williams will tell us what it's all about. So let's go and get ready. Let's get going. Go! Well, hello, boys and girls. How are you doing today? Now, just like Sydney said, we have a trip planned today. We are going to explore habitats. Do you know what habitats are? No? Okay. So, I'm going to give you a clue. I am in my habitat now. Right where I am, this is my habitat. Where you are is your habitat. Do you think you know the answer? Not quite yet. Okay, I'll give you some more clues. My habitat provides me with what I need. It gives me shelter. A shelter. It gives me food. I have water. I have air. Now, do you know what it is? Yes, you are absolutely correct. My home, where I live, is my habitat. So where you live is a habitat. So that is just a fancy word that means home. Now boys and girls, let me ask you a question. Do you value your habitat or your home? I am sure you do. Remember the word value means it's important to you. And anything we value, we must take good care of it. How do you take care of your home? Right, you sweep it up and you make sure it's nice and clean always. You don't drop garbage on the floor. You don't break your windows and you don't destroy your doors and stuff. You take good care of it. And that is how you show that you appreciate your home or your habitat. You got it. Now, just the way we have a habitat, animals, plants have habitats, right? And remember, it's a home where they live. Now, let's think about some animals. First one, a fish. Where would you find a fish? Yes, in the ocean or in the water. That is the fish habitat. Now, what about a snake? Mm. Yes, you would find snakes in the bushes, around your houses. That is this habitat for the snake. And how about, um, let's think. Uh, how about a hibiscus flower? Yes, you will find a hibiscus flower growing in your yard. And that is the habitat for that flower. Now, let's think about the animals and the plant that we talk about. Do they live? inside of your homes, like in a house where we live? No. Where would you find them? You are absolutely correct when you say outside. So now you know why we're going exploring. Let's go boys and girls. I'm sure you're ready. Let's go. Boys and girls, here I am. This is a habitat. Right where I'm standing. What do you see? Okay, bushes? Yes, bushes. These bushes, they have a special name. A lot of tall trees grow here. These are pine trees. So this is called a pine. 
pine forest. This is a habitat. Remember, a habitat is a place where animal, animals and plants live. And so you can see the plants here, right? Now, animals are here also. What kind of animals do you think live here? Mm -hmm. Remember we talked earlier about a snake? There's a snake living here, maybe in a hole under the rock somewhere in the trees. So snakes live here. Then you have spiders with their webs. Their webs are here. They live here. Then we have birds, of course. Birds live in the tree. They make their nest up in the trees. And then we have raccoons. We have lizards living here. Uh, we have insects. All of the insects you could name. The bees, the wasps, the butterflies. All the insects you could name. And then we have lizards here. So you see a whole lot of animals live here and they depend on their habitat for all the things that they need now sometimes the action of humans when I talk about humans mean me and you we destroy the habitat we make it bad for the animals live here and their habitat now how do you think we destroy the habitat Okay, I'm going to give you a word. You may not know it. It's pollution. And that's a big word means that we make the habitat or the environment unhealthy. We make it dirty for the animals and the plants that live here. There's a, a, a bee or wasp right there. Remember I talked about them. They live here. Okay, so we mess it up. We mess it up and it's not good, right, for the plants and the animals living here. So how do we make it unhealthy or un, um, not good for the animals and the plants? Pollution, and then that means dropping trash. You can see right here, we have all the garbage right here on the ground, not good for the plants and the animals that live here. And then another way, we cut down all the bushes. Now sometimes we can't help but cut down the bushes because we cut down the bushes to build homes to build stores it's called development now when we have to cut down the bushes take down all the trees the animals no longer have homes and they have to leave and go looking for new homes so that's not good for them right another way we can destroy their habitat is by burning burning it you know when you start a fire all the trees are ruined so that's not good. So those are things we do to destroy the habitat. Now, God don't want us to destroy the habitat, right? He wants us, he give us these habitats. And so we should value them. And anything we value, we take good care of it. So what are some things we can do to take care of the habitat? Just the opposite of all the things we talk, that, talk about that would destroy it. We're not going to drop garbage on the ground. We're not going to start fire. And we're not going to cut down all the trees. As far as possible, we're not going to do that. So boys and girls, you can do your part. As little as you are, you can plant a tree somewhere in your yard. You can plant a flower somewhere in your yard and garden. And that is improving your habitat, making it better. Okay? So anyway, there you have it. This is a pine forest. Come with me now as we explore another habitat. Boys and girls, here we are at another habitat. Right in the back of me, you see what? Water, a body of water. And this is called the sea or the ocean. So we have animals living here. This is the habitat for many animals. Do you know any of these animals? How about a bird? You think a bird lives here? Oh, a bird would live in the pine forest. How about a raccoon? Mm -mm. Again, a raccoon lives in a pine forest. So what kind of animals live here? Think about all the animals you know that live in the sea. There's sharks, uh, snappers you had a good Friday, grunt, starfish, seahorses, you know, all of the sea creatures you can think about, they live here 
in the ocean or the sea. And you may not see underneath the, the ocean, the sea or the ocean, but there are coral reefs under the ocean. And this is home for many, many of these creatures. And this here, this water is salty. And we know some animals live in here. But then we have some water that is fresh water. Fresh water and the water comes from the rain or under the ground. And these are your ponds and your lake. They are made from fresh water. And again, we have animals living in the pond or lakes, such as frogs, tadpoles, and even some fish. Now again, boys and girls, we have to take care of this habitat. But again, the action of humans like me and you would destroy the habitat. How do you think we would destroy this habitat? Again, that P word we learned earlier, pollution, where we make it dirty, dirty or unhealthy for the habit, the animals that live here. We make it the habitat not so clean. Okay, so we put what? Trash, garbage. So when we put trash and garbage in the water, it's not good. It's not good for the habitat, it's not good for the animals that live here because sometimes they mistake it for food. They may eat it. When they eat it, make them sick and they may even die. Remember, the habitat provides the animal with the things that they need. Remember those things? Food, air, water and shelter so remember now we're not going to destroy it by putting garbage another way some people destroy it is putting chemicals dangerous chemical that could hurt the animals we're not going to do that like bleach oil these are not good so we're going to do our job our best to take care of this habitat now boys and girls let me see how much you have learned. We are gonna do a quiz, and I know you're gonna do a super job, right? Let's go. Boys and girls, are we ready? Number one, what is a habitat? A, a hotel. B, a church. C, a home. Or D, a store. You are correct. It is C, a home. Number two. What kind of habitat does this picture show? A, lake. B, pine forest. C, ocean. D, hole. You are so smart. The answer is B, pine forest. Number three. One way we can destroy some habitats is by blank. A, starting a fire. B, cleaning up. C, planting trees. D, protecting them. Super! The answer is starting a fire. Now, number four. A habitat provides air, food, shelter, and blank. A. Clothes. B. Toys. C. Candies. D. Water. What is the answer? You think you get it? Yes! It is water. And finally, number five. What kind of habitat does this picture show? A. Nest. B. Pine forest. C. Ocean. Or D. Hole. What is the answer? The answer is ocean. Boys and girls, you did a marvelous job. Very, very, very good. Did you enjoy exploring today? Now remember, God has blessed us with this beautiful environment, right? He's blessed us with all the habitats we 
learn about today. And so we value God and what he has given us. And we value our habitats. Means that all of us will do our part to protect our habitats and to care for them. So 